Hello and welcome to the Health, Wealth and Happiness Show. My name is Patricia Martin and my guest today is Pam O'Daniel. Pam and I wrote this song recently together. We're dedicating this song to all the wounded warriors, all the service people out there, all the heroes, past, present and future. Take it away. someone's life through the eyes of this warrior scars of sacrifice give us drink when the battle is long wherever it may be stay united stand strong
was wonderful, Pam. Thank you so much. We had a great time writing that. Yes, so. we did. We cried, <laughs> we cried, we laughed. <laughs> so many heroes out there. Yeah, we went through the whole gambit of um, the wounded warriors, that whether you're the bullied child, the uh, battered wife, the guy who's returning from Iraq, the, the fireman. The firemen, of course. The policemen, the firemen of course. And the Arizona. people. The list goes on and on of how many heroes there are out there. Every yeah. day, you know, somebody's saving someone's life if they're in a car wreck or something. You know, right. they take their own life in their own, in their own hands and, and save yeah. someone. And they're the person that rushes towards the emergency rather than running away from it. And, right. you know. and it's a possibility of even ourselves being a hero one day, helping other people in whatever right. way they can. There's been a dog that's been on Facebook, and they've referred to him as a wounded warrior. He's um, a German Shepherd that's trained to recover bodies, and uh, he lost one eye. Lost one eye. A, a bomb. Um, what do they call them? the explosion? I don't know what they're called. And shrapnel. What's a shrapnel? Shrapnel. His eye. It's called an IED. IED. I think exploded, and but he's perfectly fine. He needs a home, and uh, my heart went out. To the, to the animals, the pets, and, and then when the Arizona, the firemen, uh, were just so touched. Our friend, our friend Frank Ortega is doing a, um, a benefit for the firemen in Arizona. He's from there. But, um, oh, okay, another subject there. <laughs> but I, I've met uh, Pam about 15 years ago, I guess. Right. And at that time, you were playing um, an Indian flute, and I was Native head, American. Native American, and I headed in that direction because I heard this <laughs> ethereal sound. And, uh, so you're, I now know that is your background? Yes, I'm uh, Cherokee, Choctaw, and Irish. Mm -hmm. And so how did you get interested in music? How did, where did that begin? <laughs> <laughs> did well, the flute come before the songwriting or the piano? or? Well, I guess probably um, I came to Nashville so that I could write songs and uh, make something of myself, make a difference, whatever that might be, and, and uh, quite a long time ago. And Harlan Howard was my mentor, and uh, wow. yeah, That's great. he was wonderful. He showed me how to write a song from the heart, mean what you say, keep it simple, like get to the point so everyone understands and feels it, you know. And anyway, he is gone now, but I sometimes feel his presence around me, like his spirit going, go girl, you know, right? because he's a great guy. And you write with um, Sheldon God. Cahan, mm -hmm. what have you written, written with Sheldon? Well, we, was... we write uh, spiritual music and then we also write rock and roll, Oh. Mm -hmm. and folk, we write folk music, things that are from uh, mountain type music, that uh, is really cool, different. Pam did a, um, uh, the music, and tell me, I'm probably not phrasing this correctly, it's called the red-tailed hawk. Yeah, red-tailed hawk. Red-tailed hawk. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's similar to a, a music that you'd hear in the, a background in a movie, like a movie track. It's absolutely like a John Barry. It's absolutely stunning. Well, thank you. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I wrote it when I was 21, but I never gave it a title until many, many years later. And uh, the red-tailed hawk is it's just so beautiful, and I just... For some reason, it just seems that that's the name that should be a good right for it. So <laughs> I just decided, you know, that, that he deserved that song. It was right, right for him, and uh, so that's why I wrote. And you also teach piano. Yes, teach piano and voice. And where did you go? Uh, Virginia's Music Center and Jewish Community Center. Awesome. So, who are your students? Do you have just all children? Now I have some adults, and, uh, and I have some children that are uh, really, really talented these days. These kids are just unbelievable. It's amazing. It is amazing how they can learn so fast, and they're just so gung-ho and getting it all done, and, and uh, just being around them, I just honored myself to be their teacher. Pam is teaching me to be a songwriter, and we've had a lot of fun collaborating, and um, was it last October we wrote a song about the Bell Witch? Bell Witch. <laughs> the Tony. Uh-huh. Right. Right. And it started off 
Tell, tell me about your dad and uh, why well, we started to write that. Well, we were writing about uh, Ghost Train. And my dad, I lived on a, a boxcar when I was a little girl, and my dad worked for the Santa Fe Railroad, and, and uh, he was a foreman. And my, so it was my mom, my sister, and me. And um, anyway, uh, he he passed when I was like five years old. And I always kind of felt his spirit around me of sorts. And so when a train would go by, I almost felt like it was my dad, you know, coming to tell me, hi, how are you doing, when that train whistle blew and whatever. And so we just kind of started talking about it. And it was around Halloween time. And then we started talking about the Bell Witch. You talked Tennessee. about the ghost train. And the ghost train, yes. But sometimes I hear the train, there's not really a train around. And I wondered if it's my father, it's a train, I don't know. <laughs> we started doing research on the internet and we found out that there was a train mm -hmm. in Adams, Tennessee. It was actually a passenger train and uh, it's no it was disintegrated, there's no longer a train there. But um, we had, that's on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So we just been having a lot of <laughs> one song after another. All right. All right. <laughs> anyway, I hope that everybody will love this song and we put a lot of thought behind it and a lot of heartfelt emotions in, in what we wanted to say and how we felt and so I hope everyone really likes it. All right. So what um sorry, do we have any projects for the future that are um, totally pending and looking forward to doing anything? Well um, I'm hoping to uh, be able to make a video out of this song. Oh, that'd be fabulous. My hero. Yeah. Who are some of your heroes? Well, I guess I I look up to my father as being one of my heroes, right. actually. My stepdad's always been there for me too, so he's my hero. My mother, definitely my mother. She's yeah. Been, she's awesome. She's eighty eighty years old. Eighty years old. You and know, she's going, going like a Yes. <laughs> she's stronger than me. No, she stop. just goes go. Well. She's the energizer. And if you slunch, she says, Stand up! <laughs> Stand up straight. <laughs> yeah, I could say my grandfather was one of my major heroes in my yeah, life. Yeah, the grandparents always are teachers. very strong. Yeah, teachers. Yes. Definitely the teachers, like that that. Have, um, teachers that have taught me piano and mm -hmm. voice, and, and they're, they're just wonderful. And being able to do this, and also I kind of lived a double life of living out on a farm and, and uh, having chickens and, and uh, having an herbal garden and a vegetable garden. We have fresh eggs and we have, uh, this week Pam brought tomatoes, cucumbers, what else you bring? Tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, beans, watermelon. Oh, you remember it all. <laughs> <laughs> We've been eating fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Juicing. Oh, and kale. Kale. Our green kale juices. Yeah, we yeah. do like the green kale juices. We've been juicing. doing that, so yeah. that's been really fun. And also I have a dog named Bobo, and he is unbelievable. Bobo's a boxer. Yeah, Bobo's a boxer. A, a He's fun. got many names, you know, Bobo Bitches. <laughs> Bo Geister. <laughs> as long as he hears Bo in front of it, he knows that that's his name. <laughs> he loves to go for walks, and he's he's very proud. Uh, everybody thinks he's gorgeous, and of course he shakes that little no tail of his. Bobo recently had to be hospitalized, and uh, I think that he kind of traumatized them all when he had to leave. They all fell in love with Bobo. <laughs> Yeah, so when I, when I came to get him, I don't know if he thought that I was not coming after him or he was going to have to have a new home, but he was happy to get in that car. Mm -hmm. But every time I go to open the door anymore, he still wants to get in the car, so I think he thinks he wants to go back to those people because they were really nice to him down there right. at the Cheatham um, uh, Clinic yeah. in Ashland City. They were just great people down right. there. Very lovely, we both lovely had people. some miracles this year with our animals, my little uh, Shih Tzu. Uh, uh, thank you very much to Dr. Mark Smith's Natchez Trace Veterinary Clinic. Uh, saved her life last winter. We both thought she was a goner for sure, and uh, she um, she now acts like she's six years old again, and she's 14, and so that was really really wonderful. Oh well, there's, of course, my one of my uh, music heroes is Willie Nelson, and oh. by the way, my third cousin. Oh my! Who I've not got to meet. Oh. I'm hoping to meet you. Willie, if you're out there. Willie! Your cousin. <laughs> your <laughs> third cousin. We'd love to have you on the show. <laughs> we absolutely would. And then also there's uh, the, uh, your friend that wrote with Willie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Wendy 
heart, she, her husband, uh, Wayne, uh, wrote a song, You're Always On My Mind, with, uh, for Willie, and I think uh, Ellis did that as well. So, And uh, Wayne is going to also be a guest on the show. We're looking forward to that. And Wendy does uh, the, Boss, the Southern Cross Boston Terrier Rescue. So, I think our lives revolve around the animals. Yeah, that's for sure. So, she also does a um, tribute to the Judds. She is uh, Naomi Judd. Her friend is Winona Judd, and they perform in Gatlinburg, and they're really, really awesome. Very, very talented. So, um, well, they look so much like them. I mean, uh, first time I saw Wendy, I thought she was Naomi Unbelievable. Judd. Unbelievable. And then all, not only that, but their voices. Yes. Very talented. Very, very talented. I mean, you, if, if you didn't, I mean, you couldn't believe that they sound so much like them. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So we have had quite a time writing our songs. And we want to meet a lot of people that can make a difference in the world. And um, we're actually going to do a video of, uh, that's surrounded by "You're My Hero." Oh, yeah. And so, w if anybody has a particular photo that they'd like to submit that would they would like to have us include in the video. It could be of a hero, it could be of a coach, it can be of uh, a, a fireman, a policeman, an ambulance driver. Even and little dogs. They're like our hero too and, they and are. cats. They're like our hero. I mean they they give so much love and compassion and they, they really change our life. I mean they, they do, do make a difference in they the absolutely world. do. Yeah, I agree. So I, I guess we, we just pretty much covered everything <laughs> there is. <laughs> On hero ship. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Where does the we can do? Yeah, at um, uh, Studio 23 I've been working with Brian Cummings. Cumming, I should say. No S. And uh, he is wonderful. He's the one that helped me put the uh, Red Tail Hop together and um, is he, is he the one that his band is, uh, the Wanna Beatles? Wanna Beatles, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I've heard them before. Well known and they sound fabulous. So when, I, when I heard them, I was like, oh my gosh, they're mm -hmm. great. They are. Yeah. And Brian, he's just like so multi talented. I mean, he can play almost every instrument there is. And he's so, you know, he, he, he's so easy to work with. And I've been doing like some producership and, and uh, with a little girl called Kila Bakari. And uh, she, uh, uh, she and I and her mother wrote some songs to go in her furry first. I understand you do a, a, a pretty good Patsy Klein. Yes, I can sing the Patsy Klein. And I put really. you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you no. can't. <laughs> Another show. <laughs> 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 but sometimes you can hear her at nachos. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I do every once in a while sing at nachos with Brian Cahan. And I think it's about every Sheldon other Thursday. Thursday. Sheldon, did I say Brian? Brian, yeah. Oh, I think Brian comes and okay. Sheldon. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. But you, you did nightclubs and all sorts of things. Yeah, in Wichita I had my own radio show called yeah. The Sail Away Hour. Yeah, it was at KBSA. And then I uh, I was a bartender at the time. <laughs> and I was just, I was asked to do an interview and then I did an interview and then I was singing and then all the lights lit up and they go, we want to hear more of this little girl. So next thing you know they're asking me to have my own show. So I had my own show called The Sail Away Hour. And then I got into singing and performing in nightclubs and hotels and things like that. And just love singing anyway. So much fun. And of you were at the Bluegrass Country Club? I, yeah, I, I played at the at the Blue, in, in Hendersonville. In Hendersonville, yeah, I did. And I had uh, like a little uh, living room pit around me and everybody was singing along with me. At the end of the evening, we just had a ball. And, and then I was in a band called Odessa, and uh, we did more country music and stuff at Edna's in Columbia, Tennessee. Oh, and you worked with uh, Harry Stevens? Yeah, Harry Stevenson. And Stevenson. Uh, in the band 1941. He, and he used to have, I guess he still does, the WAMB, the big band sound. WAMB, mm -hmm. absolutely. And then him and I wrote a song that was uh, called 1941 during Pearl Harbor. 
and uh, not uh, during Pearl Harbor, but I mean it was the anniversary of Pearl oh, Harbor, I think, uh -huh. and uh, the man that owns WAMB and all the big band stations let us uh, let let him play that song on his uh, uh, station. So. It was the first time he had ever let another song that wasn't like from the old time oh, be played. Oh, what an honor. Yeah, it That's was. Cool. It was really good. So he liked it, and uh, I was happy. <laughs> well, Pam, thank you. I think we're running out of time. Thank okay. you so much. You're welcome. I love you, darling. Well, I love you too. <laughs> Come back and it's see me again. Mom, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know if we have 15 minutes worth or not, I don't know, what do you think we We wait for a while, I kept thinking of things, I, I, I thought of things I hadn't even thought of for a long time. I'm going to turn it up. I don't know, I don't know. Got another half an hour to go. Is this all? We have to go. We're closing up because we've got to hit that. Gotta watch the Bachelorette. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. There are tears. Goodbye today. Bye bye. Bye